Students who had been out of school basically for a year were not getting the training they needed. The idea of this film was a chance to make up for some lost time in, these, in the kids' lives. This experience, this two-week experience, was an education in itself. I'm Mike Brugemeyer. I'm the director of the Sidekick. My job was to be a mentor in the production department. I'm James Parker. My name is Sonia Bhatia. I am the mentor DP. And I'm the director of photography in this film. My name is Jeremy Spencer. My name is Peter Majero. I am a screenwriter. I was helping with writing the script. Well, my crew have been working side by side with the students. We were lucky to get two students, Sophie, who is a singer, and Brayden, who is a guitar player, and actually utilize their skills directly into the film. Speaking from personal experience, my high school, we had a TV station that never was usable, and I never learned a darn thing. To come to this high school, Rancho Bernardo High School, and see the students here have access to these toys. In my experience going through the program and having the ability to learn how to use those, learn the vernacular around all these tools, gave me a great foundation to go out and start working. I feel really grateful to have all this within our reach and we can just grab it and make whatever we want to. I think this will be a really challenging project to pull off because it is a superhero movie. There's a lot of VFX elements. It's also like 10 pages. We're trying to shoot that in three days. In the beginning of production, our mentors would come in and help connect the dots. My mentor was Mike. Important thing that he taught me is that you got a plan for the unknown. The biggest challenge probably was being prepared at all times to shoot and we had a few situations where it wasn't ready and that delayed things. Basically we had like one sentence that we were trying to flesh out into a full story. Really being intentional about all the choices we make while making the movie. What is the light saying? What is the, the movement of the camera saying? What is the perspective of the scene? They noticed that we led in the beginning, and by the end of the first day, we were shifting that to them being more involved. We've been using the Jellyfish server uh, from LumaForge for, I think, four years now. And it's been game changing to be able to collaborate between edit bays with one set of media seamlessly. We're using OWC solid state drives and we're, it saves us a ton of time to be able to dump those cards onto those drives and push those out to the editing system almost immediately. Final Cut Pro's power and ease of use has just been a perfect fit. In the past few days working on editing, I've learned so many different techniques and skills like color grading and masking. It's been extremely helpful seeing what other departments do such as the art department or the lighting department because I can implement that into my own films. I love watching TV and I love watching movies. It's like, oh my gosh, those behind that TV and those movies are many careers of many people. This class really opened my eyes to the fact that this is a vocation, that this was a, something that could be a career and a livelihood. If you have a passion for digital media and you have some experience, then this is a great place to get more hands-on experience in a group and in a structured environment. I am going to be on screen on Friday, which is weird, but I'm excited because it's like a crazy thing to be able to say, yeah, we showed my acting in Angelica Theater. That's like a place I go with my dad to watch like Marvel movies. How cool to have a, a film that has been produced by students being premiered at a local movie theater. Today is going to be a life-changing moment for many of our students. 
And this is one that they will never forget and look back on as potentially the stepping stone into their future.